Pues hoy vamos a ver qué nos traen de nuevo en la versión 3.3 de Engine Impact. Tiene pinta de que eh, va a ser un live stream bastante largo. Pero bueno, como siempre intentaré resumirlo lo máximo posible para sacar la información que más nos puede interesar de los eventos, los banners, etc. A ver si tienen algo nuevo y algo, no sé, refrescante, alguna novedad en Genshin que nos diga de venga, ten más motivación por jugar. Porque yo últimamente la verdad es que estoy jugando bastante poco. O sea, los eventos de la 3.2 han sido muy entretenidos, pero no sé por qué. Es que también puede ser porque haya tenido muy poco tiempo para jugar, pero... No tengo las mismas ganas de jugar al Genshin que, que otras veces, la verdad. Pero bueno, vamos a ver qué nos cuentan. Hey, Traveler, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see you here. Vaya, Ito. ¿Esto qué significará? A esto significa que va a haber un evento, ¿no? En Inazuma. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Bueno, obviamente estoy aquí scouting el lugar. He estado investigando la área y he ya figured out todos los planes para el evento. Of course, I can tell you all the details. We're practically family. <laughs> Qué lindo. <laughs> I'm Max Middleman, and this is the Genshin Impact version 3.3 special program. Let's roll the version 3.3 trailer. A ver, esto siempre es lo mejor, así que a ver qué nos trae el nuevo, el pequeño trailer de la nueva versión. A friendly word of advice: test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. So is there really a ghost around here? ¿Qué acaba de pasar? Jester, I have completed the task you gave me. From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore! In that case... I'll take some time for myself now. Ole, 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 ole! Wonder You dare to gaze upon me? Qué guay. Qué bonitas se ven las habilidades, tío. Scaramouche. The mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. Uh, oye, pues tiene muy buena pinta, ¿eh? Madre mía, tiene muy muy buena pinta y esa primera imagen de Wanderer, que ya no va a volver a ser Scaramucia o Scaramuch. La verdad es que me encanta el nuevo traje que le han puesto, la nueva apariencia y demás. Sinceramente me esperaba que fuese a ser Electro, no a Nemo, pero me gusta muchísimo, la verdad. Eh, y tiene pinta de que van a seguir con la trama de los Fatui, cosa que... Bueno... Mm, se puede venir, ¿eh? se puede venir porque yo creo que es una de las tramas que junto a mí hay más gente que la espera porque yo creo que va a ser muy épica esa trama de la historia de Genshin. Hey everyone and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.3 special program. Míralos, Sarah Miller Cruz, míralos, Ito y Wanderer. Me gusta más que Trotamundos. Max, the one and only middleman, voice of the one and only Arataki Ito. <laughs> Que me gusta. Patrick Pedraza, voice of the Wanderer. But up until now, travelers have only known me as Scaramouche, and everyone's been battling me in the game lately. Yeah, that's true. But to be fair, it's a really cool fight. It's a really cool fight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm super excited to have the chance to share some upcoming content with everyone. Vamos allá. 
What did you all think about that trailer? Muy guay. Okay, so Muy I guay. definitely saw Ermin Soul in there, and I am really excited to find out more about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that trailer had everything. It had everything. It had uh, action. It had uh, drama. It was lighthearted in places, but it was dramatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm just super stoked for everyone to see Scaramouche's, like, backstory. Oh, yeah, hay mucha gente que quiere descubrir, la verdad, well, porque es muy fan del personaje. That, Following this story's incluyo, development, eh? Scaramouche is still in Nahida's custody. So I bet the question everyone's wanting to know is how he'll become the Wanderer. Yeah, Exacto. for sure. And there's quite a story behind that. If you're interested, then be sure to play through the Archon Quest interlude chapter Ojo nuevo, in version eh? of Genesis. Claro, so ya ha terminado la trama so de Sumeru, ahora tendremos la trama intermedia. Oh, come on, man. You can't just leave everyone hanging like that. How about some hints? Come on, please. Please. <laughs> all right, all right. How can yes. I say no to a cute chibiito? You can't. Here's <laughs> a little preview from the quest. Uh, avance de la misión. We ran into two people at the academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatara Suna incident. From what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatara Suna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. Well, they guessed right about one thing. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. <laughs> Wait, why are they talking about Tatara Suna? Mm, I I it is interesting though to see the Traveler, Nahida, and Scaramouche all sí, together sí, sí. So peacefully like that. Creo que eso es lo que más impresiona. In this interlude chapter, Nahida will task the Traveler and Paimon with keeping an eye on Scaramouche while we go with him into Ermensoul in search of some information. Oh, interesting. So obviously Nahida must have some reason for deciding to keep Scaramouche around. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. And I'm liking Scaramouche's new style. Yummy. It sounds muy guay, eh? Looking sharp. Heck yeah. Sí, sí. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> and at this point, he's known by a completely different name, the Wanderer. I love that. El name. Trotamundos. Okay, so I didn't listen to muy guay, eh, pero español. I mean, it looks like he's really changed a lot. Yeah, for sure. But I'm afraid that's all we can show for now. Travelers will have to experience the story for themselves in game. I mean, it's better to explore the storyline without too many spoilers. Sí, right? true, muy cierto. True. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, we'll leave the rest for travelers to discover themselves. But the Wanderer is also going to be a new playable character. Lo que estaban esperando so durante tanto tiempo, that. eh? I'm sure many of our viewers are curious about his talents. Heck yeah, sure thing. Let's have a look at the Wanderer in combat. Se ha visto muy guay antes en el trailer, eh? There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. The wind rises. Parece que le lanza cosas con su gorro, ¿no? Bow your head. Buah, la ulti es. Literalmente pisa, ¿no? <laughs> Right, Me muero. Patrick, no up. puede ser. Help introduce the wanderer. No puede ser. Sure thing. The wanderer is <laughs> a catalyst user and has an animal catalizador. Vision, so he uses wind blades to perform range normal attacks. Wait a second. Wind blades? Not the same as the traveler's wind blade though. <laughs> okay, okay. So as everyone probably already noticed, the wanderer can hover in the air when he casts his elemental skill. Que guay. Upon using his elemental skill, he will first deal AOE damage Por eso está ahí arriba. into the air and entering a hovering state. So while hovering, the Wanderer's normal and charge attacks will be converted into Kugo Fushudan and Kugu Tofukai respectively. Que guay. The damage they deal and their AOE will be increased. Their damage will be considered normal and charge attack damage, respectively. Also, Kugu Tofukai will not consume stamina. And he can remain hovering for a certain duration. Mm, that's so oh. awesome! He can fly! <laughs> I know, I know, right? But he can't stay hovering no? forever. While hovering, the Wanderer constantly consumes Kugurioku points to maintain his hovering state, which is the blue meter you see on the screen. Hmm. Even if he doesn't move or attack, hovering will still consume Kugurioku points. Okay. So this mechanic works a little differently than our typical stamina meter. 
There are many possible actions the Wanderer can perform while hovering in the air, which all rely on Kugaryoku points rather than stamina. So, Too for right. example, sprinting mid-air will consume additional Kugaryoku points to accelerate mid-air. Claro, mientras and esté volando va a consumir eso. Will cause persistent point consumption y no aguante. to maintain speed. Persistencia so, celeste. This will replace his default sprint. Jumping expends extra Kugaryoku points to increase hovering height. Holding jump will cause persistent Kugaryoku point consumption to keep increasing hovering height. Of course, Vaya pasada. Tío, ya me están creando necesidades de ir a por el personaje. Exactly. All right. Now that we've seen the wanderer, let's move on to the next new character. Are you ready? Sí. I'm ready. <laughs> Yay. Mi bonita Faruzan. Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Faruzan. Then I'll see if I can pick that up. Me muero. Mírala a ella, la más chula, eh. Huh? Qué guapa es. What is it that you would like to learn more about? Different forms of pressure-based puzzle mechanisms? The base layer design of elemental monuments? Huh. Wait. Did you forget to call me Madam Faruzan just now when you asked me? La Hatsune Miku de Genshin Impact. What? There's nothing wrong with being afraid of thunder, even at an older age. Oh, she sounds Gosh. sassy. Yeah, and smart, too. <laughs> Qué atrevida. She seems so awesome. She's fun. No me esperaba que tuviese esa personalidad. La verdad, se le ve tan dulce. And really detailed. I love it. Why don't we take a look at Faruzan's ability to fight? Eso es lo que queremos ver. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> A hundred years have passed. Is the Arco any change those dumb rules at the academia? In the Arco de El de Acorde, El que da maestría, verdad? Have fun with his gift. Qué bonito se ve. Míralo. Se ve muy bonito, eh. I love all the geometric shapes when she's playing. Yummy, yummy. Me encantan. Yes, there's Crazy. so much geometry, <laughs> and I took geometry. It looks so cool. Ah, uh, yeah. So the big question is, when can travelers expect to get? Eso es lo que queremos terror? saber. That is a good question. Let's talk about the upcoming event wishes. In the early part of version 3.3, the Wanderer and Arataki Ito will be able to present their own event wishes. A ver, después de presentar a Ito y a Scaramucci, me lo esperaba. Faruzan will also be making her debut in these event wishes. Buen banner igualmente, eh? In the later part of version 3.3, we'll be seeing rerun event wishes for both the Raiden Shogun and Kami Satoya. Vale, muy buen banner también. And last but not least, the new five-star catalyst oh, es muy bonita, eh? will be appearing in a new weapon event wish. Es muy bonita la arma de Scaramucci. Two brand new artifact series will become available, so travelers should be sure to check out the corresponding domain. Woo! More artifacts! <laughs> All right. I hope travelers will have fun experimenting and trying new combinations with these. Yeah. God, okay. eh? We've already talked about a ton of new content, so why don't we take a quick break with another redemption code? Sounds good. Roll out the code. Tiene muy buena pinta los artefactos, eh? O sea, si los sacan ahí. Eso quiere decir que les va a servir a Faruzan y a Wanderer, 100%. Porque he visto ahí un bono de daño a Nemo. Y están muy chulos el diseño y todo. Los artefactos siempre me gustan un montón. Tenemos primer evento, ¿eh? So next we'll be covering the upcoming events for the new version. That's right. We've already mentioned the Nueva arma, ¿no? Parece un paraguas. Claro, en cuanto han dicho lo de prueba de valor, digo... Es un evento 100%. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Parece un evento de Halloween con lo de los fantasmas, eh. All little take is one little misstep and the darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> Some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. This is your last chance. Qué mal rollo. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Tiene una pinta el evento. Sí, sí. 
Coronita, protogemas, nueva arma y para refinarla. Buen evento. Además con Ito y Heizu, ¿qué más se puede pedir? De terror, ¿no? De coraje. De valor. Word has it that if you walk around the test of courage, you might find yourself encountering a special sort of game. We've already got the rules down, so I'll do a quick introduction. Basically, travelers will have to control a bouncing bar to bounce a ball and use Vale, al menos un nuevo evento, eso es, ya me gusta de por sí. Vale, hay que jugar con los elementos, ¿vale? Esto me recuerda a minijuegos los típicos del móvil, ¿no? Que tienes que ir destruyendo los cubitos. control the character to move the bar. When the character we're using is either pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro, me gusta, me gusta. the corresponding element will be applied to the bar. By switching characters, you can change the element of the bar. Okay, all the pieces are falling in place now. The bar can infuse a certain element, and the blocks also have their own element, so causing a skill ball of one element to hit blocks of different elements with trigger elemental reactions. In addition to this minigame, the Test of Courage storyline will also contain more challenges. Vale, eso no nos han puesto uno. Eso, eso, eso. Los reencuentros son los que a mí me gustan. A ver. ¿De carreras? ¿Será multijugador? ¡Ojo! Me gusta, ¿eh? Últimamente no están repitiendo tanto los eventos. En este evento, cada stage will have wilderness balloons scattered all around. Travelers will need to find as many wilderness balloons as possible within the time limit vale. to earn increasingly better rewards. So during the challenge, travelers will be able to utilize their character's skills and talents. Ay, qué gracioso. So it will be important to assemble the right team depending on the traits and terrain of the challenge area. Oh, oh interesting. interesting. Yeah, so travelers can also use something called the wilderness compass to obtain various buffs. Which include enhanced jumping capabilities, increased movement speed, or unlimited stamina, etc. Ooh, cool. However, you can only claim one buff during each challenge. You must consume blessed energy to use the compass and gain the selected buff. You may charge the compass up by finding wilderness balloons or interacting with blessed energy in the challenge. Or you can always wait for the compass to passively charge over time. Yo, this event looks pretty crazy. It's almost like watching parkour. Vale, eso me gusta. Que siempre vayamos cambiando de, de sitio en el que tenemos que hacer el evento. Eso sí, más por ejemplo. El primero era Monsta. Que tengamos que movernos y así también pues utilizamos el exterior, ¿no? El, el paisaje. ¡Oh! ¿Veis este juego? O sea, este evento realmente ya lo hemos tenido antes, pero está muy guay. Este es del escondite, aunque se me da fatal. Pero está guay porque se puede hacer multijugador. Eh, tenemos novedades. A ver. Nuevos mapas, supongo, ¿no? Okay, wait a second. There actually might be some new travelers out there who've never seen this event before. So, why don't you start with some of the basics? Right, good point. Okay. Básicamente esconderse. This is a game with a long history in Monster. Travelers. Es como que hay un lobo que quiere cazar a los cerditos. Vosotros podéis ser los cerditos o el lobo. Y podéis utilizar habilidades y poder esconderos, etc. ¿Veis? Ese, por ejemplo, sería el cazador. El lobito, como lo he llamado yo. Y tenéis que buscar por todo el mapa. E intentar pillar a todos. Que se pueden con las habilidades ocultar y demás. Once that would happen, all you could do was spectate and watch the rest as the others continue playing. But this time around, once you're caught, you'll still be able to participate oh. in the match even in observer mode. Pero cómo? ¿Cómo participando? Observer mode, you can't be seen by other players and will receive the illusory beacon skill. This skill will allow you to place a random beacon to confuse the hunter. Vale, vale, si está muy bien. Ah, mira, mira, pero no está tan mal, ¿eh? Esa novedad. Claro. Es que yo soy súper mala y me pillan a la primera y que te quedas mirando. 
Así es más divertido. Eso es lo que nos interesa, ¿no? <risa> Aparte de pasárnoslo bien. Lo guay es el multijugador. De combate. Ese también es normalito. Vale. Será de dominios. Este no creo que sea tan nuevo, pero los dos primeros eventos sí que tienen bastante buena pinta y son novedosos. Ahí veis, nueva edición. Eso significa que es reciclado, pero con novedades. Pero bueno, nos dan protogemas. enemigos. There will also be trial characters for you to select from as well. After entering the domain, travelers will need to go and complete three challenges to collect ancient runes. After Pero este es el desierto, ¿no? Yo no tengo desbloqueado el desierto. Habrá que hacerlo. Ya me van a obligar otra vez, tío. Oh, no. A lo mejor solo está basado. Y es la típica puerta esta que te sale y ya entras en el sitio. Espero que sea eso. Just go for all the challenges. <laughs> I know, but travelers should keep in mind that the challenge objective for each trial might be different. So be sure to check the objective and aim for that while proceeding. En términos de rewards, travelers can look forward to winning primo gems and other various prizes. Yes. Ooh, I like prizes. And last but not least, version 3.3 will also have leyline overflow events. Travelers ah, pues mira. Forward to saving their resin and earning more Este evento siempre está muy bien. Nice. La verdad. Awesome. Uh, be great for all the Lo de las flores ley que te dan yeah, más cosas por poca resina. Now, el doble por resina normal. Ahí está. Right. ¡Ey! Hey, ¡El juego de las cartas! ¡Por fin! Te no lo dijeron, sí, sí. During our journey into that, we've stumbled across several NPCs talking about a game called Genius Invocation TCG. Es verdad que lo mencionan. Ahora lo vamos a poder jugar, de verdad. Ahí es. Pero hay una It is said that a young guy in Sumeru found an ancient casket of tomes in Vaya. Esto va a ser un juego permanente, ¿eh? O sea, no va a ser un evento. Sino vamos a poder jugarlo siempre que queramos. Supongo que las primeras veces que hagamos cosas no darán recompensas. Digo yo. Durante el combate, Está la historia del juego, supongo. Fin del juego. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the crocodile king possesses him and allows him to gradually climb the ranks to become a legendary TCG. Esto tendrá rankings como el loli el malo. Is it just me or does that kind of sound like the plot to a light novel? You're right. It turns out that Yai Publishing House is about to release a hit light novel series based on this invocation TCG. Okay, now Madre this mía. is starting to sound like a plug for Yai Publishing House. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway, that's the legend on how Genius Invocation TCG came to be. Though it's probably just a story they came up with for marketing the game. So while you were telling us about the story, I was over here researching the rules to the game. Basically, Genius Invocation TCG is a game where you use a constructed deck of cards to duel against the opponent. Ah, mira, pero opponents. conseguimos cosas, eh? The objective Is to defeat all of your opponent's character cards. Sí, hay varios juegos que son parecidos a esto, que lo metan en el game sin mola en realidad. Resonate with Genshin Impact's gameplay, so it shouldn't be too hard for players to get the hang of. Right, I even saw some elemental reactions in. Claro, habrá reacciones elementales. Las cartas de los personajes van a ser super bonitas y todo. Yo creo que va a estar bastante guay. Cards have a normal attack, an elemental skill, and an elemental burst. So when a character card deals elemental damage to an enemy, it will cause them to be affected by that element. Carta de NPC. Character card of a different element and use their abilities to trigger an elemental reaction. Wait, did you guys notice that there are even monster character cards? Yeah, it's very odd. Like a deck of like just the monsters from the game. <laughs> You're really getting into this, Max. <laughs> Heck yeah, I am. <laughs> I like card games. Who doesn't? 
<risa> so, ingenious invocation TCG, ¡Qué guay cómo se ve los daditos! Quiero ese dado dice, en real life. Each round, both you and your opponent will roll eight elemental dice. Each of these elemental dice can have any one of eight elemental attributes. Hold on, but there's only seven elements in the world of Tabath. You're right. So, in addition to the seven standard elements, there's also oh, one mirado. called the Omni element. The elemental dice required for a character card to perform an action oh. correspond to the character's element. So, for example, a Pyro character like Diluc needs either Pyro or Omni elemental dice to perform an action. Clear now? Yep, crystal clear. Also, elemental dice can be used to switch characters or play a variety of other cards, such as equipment cards, event cards, and support cards. All these cards create the potential for a variety of strategies. Right. While playing Genius Invocation TCG, travelers can earn Qué lindo player gatito. which will increase your player level. As Ooh. your level increases, you'll be able to challenge more characters and NPCs. By completing challenges, you may earn lucky coins, new cards, or ay, other ay, ay. Lucky Vale, vamos a tener como si fuese for cards, or can even unlock ay, skins for certain cards. Dynamic como si fuese un árbol, no como el de Inazuma, etc., para conseguir recompensas. O lo de la relajatetera, también, por ejemplo. After unlocking that, there'll even be a cool bonus animation whenever you cast that character's elemental burst. Qué guay. If you're confident in your TCG skills, you can also invite a friend to duel. After reaching a high enough player level, you'll even unlock a matchmaking mode. ¿Ves? Cuando van metiendo más cosas del modo multijugador, hacen que el Genshin sea más entretenido y que tengan más ganas de jugar. Aparte de hacer las diarias y la resina con tus amigos. Los eventos, etcétera, hacen más dinámico eso, el multijugador. Hasta ahí todo. Ha estado bien, ha estado bien, la verdad. Me ha gustado mucho los trailers, las habilidades de los nuevos personajes, los gachapones tienen muy buena pinta. Los dos primeros eventos muy guays y esto de las cartas muy chulo también. Pero creo que se han extendido demasiado para lo que han explicado, ¿no os parece? Yo obviamente lo resumiré en el vídeo de YouTube, pero vaya. To play some of these events and mini games. Todo muy entretenido, sí, sí. En la 3.3. So fun. I'm really glad that we got to do the special program together. I'm so happy I got to come back for another special program. This is my third time being on Ojo, one of these eh, and I can't before. I'm counting. I'm so happy. This is my first one, so thank Qué lindo. you for having me. Um, doesn't it feel good? Yes. Yeah, doesn't so, it feel good to feel to special? Do you like... feel special? <laughs> I really do. Thank you. <risa> Qué monos. Well, I think this is the end of our special program. Ha estado bien, so, pero me ha parecido que ha sido muy largo. Really Simplemente eso. Por el resto, we'll see you in game. me ha gustado mucho, okay, la verdad. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 Muy guay todo lo demás. <risa>